All right guys, so we're back in the garage. I got a new battery. So that was the issue. I did some more troubleshooting. Um, the codes that I was getting had to do with battery failure and it was an ABS code. I think it was 61-01, I think. And it was battery voltage failure. But that was what was tripping all the lights, the ABS, the VSA, and the SRS light. So I got the new battery in um, this morning and all the lights went away. So I went ahead and cleaned up everything, all the wiring. I soldered the wires so that everything's permanent now. Um, by the way, guys, I wanna show you something. Um, I did a lot of trial and error. So every time I made a change to the wires, let me make sure you guys understand this. Anytime that you make a change to the wires or any change at all when you're working on your car, make sure that when you do one change, that you test the car to see if it works. Of course, that's not possible in some cases, like if you're doing like a clutch job or something like that. But um, you don't want to change too many things at once because when you do a trial and you do a testing, um, you're not going to know what the problem is if you've changed a whole bunch of things. So it's going to really help you when you're working on your car, when you're doing projects, that you change one thing at a time and then test it. In my case, this is what I did for the wiring. I changed one thing, tested it, moved on to the next thing, tested it. And so I came up with this, the OPDS sensors. Um, those are now tucked underneath the carpet. So what I did basically was, and I hope you guys can see this and the lighting's not too dark. I actually lifted up the carpet, right? And then tucked the sensors underneath and laid them out flat. I tried to roll them up into a, like a roll and then tape them up or use some zip ties over there. But uh, for whatever reason, it was throwing the SRS light back on. And I think it's because the orientation that the sensors were in or something, it was malfunctioning. I'm not entirely sure, but I do know that these sensors like to be laid flat out. So make sure you guys do that. Wherever you're gonna be hiding it, you can keep them back on top of the carpet if you want. Maybe you can sandwich them between two pieces of cardboard and then stick that underneath the aftermarket seats that you install. But uh, make sure that you guys are aware of that and also double check to make sure that they work by starting the car again and seeing if that SRS light comes back on, okay? But what I did there, yeah, I, I tucked them underneath the carpet and then I fed the wires through um, this cutout right here. And then I just kind of zip tied them together. And then I also have the resistor soldered in and I taped it up so that, you know, it's not really gonna go anywhere. Also the uh, jumper cable, that's secure. And I did the same thing on the driver's side. So. This is all buttoned up here, ready to go and ready to be hidden underneath the passenger seat. So I hope you guys um, find what I'm sharing with you right now. I hope you guys find it helpful uh, because I know that there really aren't many videos on uh, how to do this trick, but I just wanted to show you guys so that you don't have to do the extensive amount of research that I had to do. This will be kind of a shortcut for you. I know some of you guys like to get spoon fed. I'm gonna say that again, I know some of you guys like to get spoon fed. And uh, this is one of those times where I'm gonna spoon feed you. So eat up. This is the driver's side. Um, everything's taped up. You don't want those pins to get corroded, not corroded, but like covered in crud and filled with crud. So just tape those up. All right, so that's gonna go in. I just finished testing the car again and uh, no lights, everything's back to normal. So I am ready to install these seats. We're gonna do the driver's side first because as you can see, there's not really much room between my garage wall and the door. So I don't wanna scratch, potentially scratch my car and scratch the vinyl wrap that I just put on last year. Guys, so the seats are in. Um, I'm gonna bolt them in now, but before I do that, um, I'm going to hide the wiring on the underside of the passenger and the underside of the driver's side seat. All right, so this is what I'm talking about. The underside, hopefully I can get this. Um, underside of the passenger seat, I'm going to be putting this module under here, kind of tuck it away. I might even be able to just hide it. I don't know. Let's try it out. All right, guys. So the new seats are finally in. Let's go check it out. So 
so that's successfully in the wires are hidden um, I know the car's still torn apart a little bit and that's because I'm still gonna be doing some other stuff so I'm actually gonna cut this video here and end it so the seats are officially in um, I will actually do a fully swapped interior um, reveal for the entire black interior with the new seats with the new shifter and maybe some other goodies I don't know yet so we'll find out all right so that basically wraps up this video here um, thank you guys for watching again if you made it this far please don't forget to subscribe um, consider it and don't forget to hit that notification button that way you guys know when I post new videos and it really helps me too and it helps my videos out there um, so make sure you guys hit that notification button do it do it do it all right so thanks for watching again and uh, take it easy peace